Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is going to be on this alluring femme fatale makeup. I wanted this to be an evil kind of makeup look and it's been a while since I've played with red eyeshadows so this was the result. This video is also made in partnership with The Skin House so if you want to get ready together and catch up then just keep watching. I'm using a grey eyeliner today. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner in Taupe Grey. And then I'm going to connect that to the lower lash line. I'm just going to leave this area open and then fill in the inner corner. Next, I'm going to take a gray liquid liner. This is the Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner in Matte Shadow Gray. And then let's fill in the waterline and lash line. I've gotten a lot of questions about what you're supposed to do first, your eyes or your base when you do your makeup. It's just based on personal preference. Personally, I change it depending on the look I'm doing. So if I'm planning on doing a heavy eye look or winged liner where I want to clean up the eyes without disrupting the base, I'll do the eyes first. But then if I'm doing a more skin focused look, I'll just do the base first. Okay, so for the middle of the eyeliner, I wanted to do like a nudish reddish shade, but I didn't have that. So we're gonna mix two eyeliners. I'm going in first with my Tower 28 Multi Liner in Draw Me. This is a brown shade. I've been obsessed with these liners recently because you can use them as eyeliner or lip liner or even on your cheeks. So from here, I'm actually going to blend it into the other liner. And then take the red liner. And this one, we want to use very little. This doesn't need to be perfect since we're going to blend it out with the eyeshadow later. Let's do our lashes next. So I'm just curling them and then applying mascara. For lashes today, I'm using the Petite Club Look Twice lashes. I do not like how this lash looks with this look. Maybe I can use these ones. These are like really thin. I always have such a hard time picking which lashes to wear because they can change your entire look, you know? Wait, this looks way better. Okay, wait, I just needed to curl them. Actually, I forgot I wanted to do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this palette from Huda Beauty. It's the Cool Matte Obsessions palette. And I'm gonna take this shade. Now let's put on the eyelid tape. Today we're gonna be using the Gucci Beauty eyebrow pencil. Okay, so moving on to the face, if you guys have been keeping up with me, you know that I've been replacing my primers with serums for the past few months, and it's honestly made my base look so much better. Like, my theory is that serums are just more moisturizing primers, so that's why they just make my base look better. But yeah, ever since I started doing this, I have been obsessed with finding new serums, and this one has been my most recent favorite. This is the Skin House Wrinkle Supreme Serum. So this product's meant to help with the appearance of wrinkles, right? But the thing that I really love about this is they're super moisturizing and they help your skin get a plump look. So let's apply it. Do you see what I mean by like the plumpening effect? And it feels very tacky too, like it has the perfect makeup base. I have a list in my notes app of like products that I would buy for everybody in the world if I were a billionaire. Things I feel so strongly and passionately about. And this has become one of those products for the people with dry skin. Unfortunately, I am not a billionaire. But if you guys want to check this out, I will leave a link to it in the description box. Onto the face, I want to use this new foundation I got in the mail recently. It's the Makeup by Mario one and I know this was going viral on TikTok a few months ago, but I never tried it. So let's try it today. I'm using shade 2N. I'm trying to get a tan this summer, honestly. I really miss having that like golden tan. Wow, I get what people were saying about this foundation now. This looks like skin. I would say this is a light to medium coverage. I think we're gonna do a very matte look today. I know we recently did a glossy dewy look, but I am a matte girl till I die, so. We don't need too much concealer under the eyes, I forgot. But we're gonna do baggy eyes look today, so we actually didn't need any here. Before we move on to powder, let's use our cream products. I've been really into cream blushes and bronzers, and I got this really pretty one from Simi Haze. 
This is their Sun Flush All Over Tint and it can be used as a cream bronzer or a cream blush, but I'm just gonna use it under my eyes and hopefully this warms up the face a little bit and also gives us that baggy eye look, you know? We just want like a slightly dead look. Oh, also I'm finally getting back into running. Um, I know it's been, if you guys have been here for a while, it has been a really on and off journey. Recently, I've started training again with my dad and well, not for any particular marathon or anything. I just wanted to get back into running and it was so hard. Like it, it's so frustrating trying to get back into things that you once were good at because you just compare yourself to who you were, you know? But obviously that is not healthy because how can you get better if you don't restart? A lot of fitness people will tell you, just restart again, it'll come back a lot easier than you expect. And it did not feel that way. Like the first two sessions I had back to running, I ran with my parents and I could not do more than like two miles. But recently I was finally able to run my first four miles without taking any breaks. So progress, okay. I like the under eye so far, it's looking cute, but we definitely need to build up on that. I really like this deep red shade. So let's use the matte side. There's like a glossy balm side, but we're gonna use this side. Okay, I think this is a good base for the blush, but I do want it to be more cool toned. So let's blend everything out and then set everything. You know how there's eras or like phases of makeup, right? Where certain products blow up. This year, or like the past few years actually, I feel like it's really been liquid blushes. Like any liquid or cream products people have been loving. Which for me, as like a matte girl, I didn't really understand. But I think I finally understand it because it's just so fun to play with and it's easily blendable. I think we're going back to an era of like having fun with makeup. A lot of products have just been more fun. Like even Makeup Forever, who, which I think is a really professional brand. I love Makeup Forever, but I definitely feel like they cater more towards the pro makeup artists. They just released this powder, which I feel like is so fun. It's um, a twist and light powder. So it's like a highlighting type of powder. And so what you do is you twist left and then you close it and then you open the top of it and there's three different shades you can see, right? White, pink, and blue. When you twisted the bottom, it released all of those and they all mixed together to create that powder for your skin tone. But yeah, I get so excited whenever I see new stuff like this because it's just so innovative and fun, you know? Like, just like how you experiment with makeup, I feel like makeup brands should be experimenting with their concepts and designs as well. Okay, so we're mattified. So I'm going to go back to the under eyes and do our baggy eye look. Taking the Huda Beauty palette again, we're going to just apply a wash of color for the shape of the baggy eye. So let's use this shade. And then let's take this darker mauve and start carving out the under eye fat area. And then I'm gonna take the darkest shade right here and then go right underneath the eye right here and here. I'm also gonna take that dark shade and then blend it into the eyeliner. We didn't set the liner earlier, so it's kind of struggling. So let's just set it now. And then I'm actually gonna take a burgundy shade from my Wine and Only palette from ColourPop. This is still the best red eyeshadow palette I've ever owned. It just has all the perfect reds. We're gonna blend that into the center. And then now that we have all those shadows down, we can start building the color and making it deeper. So let's use this shade, just a very light tap of it, build up the eye bag. Let's take a little bit of the darkest shade. Taking my small brush again, I'm just going to contour the eye fat. So we're just making the outer edge darker and then blending it in like that. There's something so satisfying about drawing under eye fat. You can alternate between two brushes, the small one to apply the color and the other one to blend. And then I'm gonna take a light pink shade from the Huda Beauty palette and then just highlight the fat part. We're not gonna use any shimmers. We want it to be more matte since it's a villain look. I'm taking this nudish palette. This is like a transition color. 
It's almost like applying eyeshadow to your upper eyelid, except for it's on your lower eyelid. Now let's curl our lower lashes and apply mascara. When I'm applying it on the outer corner, I'm moving it this way. And then for the inner lashes, I'm pushing it the other way. Let's pinch those. I'm using this shade and I'm applying it right here. I think it's a little too dark, so I'm using the 3CE Nude Peach Blush, this shade, and I'm just gonna blend it in to create like an ombre. I'm using my Kaleidos palette to contour. I think we should do like a little bit more sculpted look today since this is an evil look. So I wanna look a little like skeletal. They're like cat collection, so cute. This is the Napping Cheese palette. I've been using this shade as a highlighter. For lips, I'm gonna use the Peri Peri Ink Velvet in number 31 Wine Nude. I'm only applying this to where I need to contour my lips. Now I'm using Rare Beauty's Courage. And then I'm going to take a YSL lip cream in 210 and apply that to the center. And then on top of that, I'm applying the Fenty Beauty Riri Gloss. This gloss is so pretty. It has like little shimmery sparkles in it. Let's do some finishing touches. I'm applying some mauve eyeshadow here to make it like a little bit darker. I feel like this look isn't evil enough, so I'm gonna add some details to the eyes. I'm gonna add a red liner to the waterline. Mmm, that looks much better. Okay. I'm gonna add some red here too. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again to The Skin House for sponsoring this video. I'll leave all the information for that in the description box, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!